Good morning. People, don't expect good videos because that's what, not what we do here. Hey, last day of NAM. This is NAM. Uh, uh, GNL or also Ghoul. So apparently Ghoul has new guitars. So, uh, hey, he moved things. So, that's okay. You're okay? Let, let him play. Let, wait, wait. And over there is Kyle Rhodes. Kyle Rhodes makes amazing amps. He's annoying as fuck right now because we're trying to make a ghoul video. And in this ghoul video there's a kazoo amp blasting at us. But that's okay because kazoo is pretty damn good and we love Kyle. So Kyle is allowed to blast his kazoo amp at us. Check out kazoo. Kazoo. I don't know how you say that. So. New GNL stuff. Hey, we have offset. It's called the. It's called the this, the this, and it's got big white things in it. Let's look at it. I'm not really an offset kind of guy, but um, when we're looking at, oh, Kiana's trying to get this one. What wasn't that like the custom shop one? Oh, we get, yeah, okay, this is purple, that's all I can tell you. Uh, it has a traveler and white and big, very unique pickups. Uh, GNL always has very unique pickups. And a beautiful sparkle, purple, purple sparkle thing. Um, and this is in, you know, GNL is always in a lower price range. A decent sized traveler block, like a mid sized traveler block or tram block. Obviously, GNL is the company that Leo Fender founded, I think, after. Fender, something CBS, I don't know guitar history, who cares, play the damn things, make music. So GNL has kind of been revamped, they told me. Uh, so they introduced the Dohini, look at this Dohini. In Kiana knows what that is, I always forget, quilt, that's the word. Um, but here we have a... Welcome to day four of the 2018 Very hell. Vorne ist ein kleiner Regler. Hier ist ein Drehregler vorne. Kiana just said it's very hell. That means it's very bright. We unbrightened it, because that's what we do here at HP42. We have brightness adjustment knobs. I know I'm a knob, don't say it. So, Doheny quilt. Uh, thin line, I think means it has a hole in it. And look at that. Recessed cavity covers. That is weird. That everyone can do it except that other company that doesn't do it. Hmm. <laughs> Tells you to piss me off. So, um, this is of course gorgeous. The only thing I change here is the Floyd. But that quilt is insane. It is book matched, is it? Yes, it is. Kiana thinks this is her favorite, but she doesn't know that it's not her favorite. Well, how can I understand you if you're not talking into the It's mind? really nice. I like it. It's really pretty. It is really pretty. Can the I have some footage of that for my prettiest guitars of Nam video? Yes, you can. Thank you. And uh, the pickups always with GNL. I don't know. I don't like the look of the pickups. I gotta say. It's always been my pet peeve with them. But whoa, that's that's nice wood. What's the back wood on this? Monkey pot. Monkey pot, which by the way is the top wood on Tom Quayle's new Ibanez AZ TQM something. If it's good enough for Tom Quayle, good enough for us. So monkey pot, really interesting. That's a form of mahogany, right? It's a mahogany form. Bonk. So, couple of stories here. Uh, GNL Custom Shop is going to be a thing. Uh, with uh, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. So, so, Dave. We know him as Dave. Dave is going. Dave is going to be like, or is one of the guys, you know, sanding and doing stuff and making very, very nice, pretty guitars. Yes. I am uh, heading off the custom shop at GNL. 
So, uh, custom shop means we're going to have to sell kidneys to get the guitars? No, not necessarily, but they're all going to be handmade and uh, we're going to be using nothing but the best of materials and uh, hand selected wood, hand wound pickups. Uh, urethane finish to start off with. We're also going to be offering uh, nitrocellular slacker options as well as uh, hand wound pickups that will be done on Leo's original winding machine from the 60s. Leo's machine? So, uh, but I heard that the price point that you're aiming for is, you know, below three grand. Yes, it is. It's, they start off at uh, $2,200 map. Custom shop, hand built. Yes. US. Yep. US, US in Fullerton, yes. On Fender Avenue. There is a Fender Avenue? Yes, there is. We're right in the cool. middle of it. Well, we're going to have to check these out because that is promising. Yeah. Let's look at uh, the, the black thing we looked at earlier. It's this one, right? The that, that you showed show me, yeah? The, uh, sure. yeah. the one thing that I really liked on that Dohini, I'm not an offset guy and I don't like black guitars, but we'll look at it. So Man, we're, it, we're enemies then. I love black <laughs> guitars. Black guitars are my favorite. Uh, it, it, That's why I built this one. Well, I had the discussion with Phil X, and yeah. Phil's guitar is mega, mega high polish, and you see every tiny, tiny uh, fingerprint on it. Mm -hmm. And but apparently, before every Bon Jovi show, when they polish it for him, he goes and he puts fingerprints on, because he he wants that look. He wants that. He wants a fingerprint look. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But this is kind of a flat, already slightly scratchy used look. Yes. This is what we call a light aging process on these instruments. Very so, light. Very light. Uh, yeah, extremely light. You can actually take this thing apart and buff it out again, and it'll look brand new if you wanted to. Minus the dents. I put a couple little dents and dings here and there, just to give it a little bit of life. But um, which is, I, excuse me, which is what guitar builders tell you when they accidentally drop a screwdriver on a guitar yeah, it, yeah yeah no I wanted it aged yeah right I did yeah I dropped the screwdriver about 10 and 20 times <laughs> yeah it was pretty good accidentally or deliberately deliberately but uh, that's what he says of yeah, course yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they call me butterfingers <laughs> so what I did on this one here I selected a nice light alder two-piece spread yeah two-piece spreads are my favorite so uh, it's uh, the weight for this giant size body is pretty nice it's about eight. it's not light but it's no, not it's not bad. it's not heavy right yeah um, the other thing that I did is I chose a nice this is what we call ghost flame in other words what this means is that you can buy a five star grade maple flame neck blank that will just have crazy flame everywhere or you can get something like this that's not so much money and we call it ghost flaming because the flames are ghosted. It's there. They're there. It's totally but there. They're not, they're not there. All my necks for the custom shop samples that I made for the show have ghosted flame necks. And um, we have it's locking one of my tuners, favorites. Which is a pet locking, peeve of mine. We need that. Yeah, locking tuners for the tremolo. Um, all the custom shop uh, models are going to be getting the custom shop logo that's inlaid with mahogany. Uh, I can also use different types of materials for the inlay of the, of the logo. I can even use color. So let's say if somebody orders a candy apple red custom shop, I can mix some candy apple red with some, uh, with some epoxy and I can just cover this logo with it so that the logo will match the color of the body. Just different little things that's like a, that's that, a that, just a, a nice little personal touch for people to ha enjoy that that makes their guitar a little bit more unique and personal to themselves. Ron just showed me that, I mean, a detail that you can't see, but feeling over the edge of the pickguard. Yeah. I mean, it's a detail that technically who cares, but basically exactly. we care. It doesn't it's, make the guitar play any better. It doesn't make the instrument sound any better. But it's nice. It's just a nice, nice little touch. It's ultra smooth. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, and so I love that fretboard, which uh, I've been told is... Chechen. Uh, that's, that's not what I've been told. What's it told? Uh, um, uh, Caribbean rosewood. Yeah, Caribbean rosewood. Um, we call it Chechen. Uh, some people like to call it Caribbean rosewood. But what uh, what we're trying to do, though, is we're trying not to have the word rosewood on anything. Because, because it's tainted. Cites. Cites. Um, you need documentation for importing it into the U.S. And you need documentation to export it out of the U.S. Yeah, so, I know, I know. And, and everybody's going away from rosewood. So we call it Chechen, but yeah, it's also known as Caribbean rosewood. Um, yeah, the uh, the beveling of the, of the pickguard is one of the features that you will get on custom shop stuff. Um, we're going to start using urethane. This is urethane finish. I love the feel of urethane on the back of the neck. It's a very, very, oh, yeah? it's not sticky. 
um, it's nice and smooth and at the same time it gives you that feel of a gloss neck so we can gloss it up so looking at the yeah oh, there's a good chunk of wood there but uh, no volute no volute necessary no no not on these we're doing these we're building these in a traditional style um, I'm not a fan of volutes but uh, if somebody wants one I would imagine if it's needed it would be I guess you could say this is some sort of volute but yeah yeah it's it's, it's, yeah. Uh, it's this is just a standard uh, neck shape sanding that uh, most of these bolt-on necks get yeah but it's a uh, it's fairly standard um, one of the other things that I want to mention is that the pickups, the pickups are all going to be custom shop spec. And what that means is that I have a bobbinier, a winding machine in the custom shop that I will use to make all our standard pickups. It's uh, you, you put the bobbin in there, you put the number of turns and it does it for you. The other service that we're going to be offering with this bobbinier or bo winding machine is we're going to be offering a 5% over and under wound service. So if somebody wants a slightly hotter bridge pickup, for example, on one of our legacies, we can do that by 5%. Maybe somebody wants an underwound uh, middle pickup, we can underwind it by 5%. And just just custom give, shop. Yeah, just, custom. To give, just to give the customer a little variety of, uh, of these, these options that are available to them. The other thing is a step up from that is going to be a hand wound service. And uh, the hand winding is going to be done by myself. I'm going to be using Leo Fender's original winding machine from the 1960s. And this is the machine that he used. Uh, for prototyping all of these pickups since then so it's kind of cool it's got a little bit of mojo in it and uh, it's just a neat thing to show people that hey, I'm using uh, using Leo's old winding machine and uh, it's not know. guaranteed that that makes anything better no but it's it's mojo as you say it's history it's I mean neat. yeah your pickup is coming from a piece of rock and roll history exactly and that's that's, 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 all that's neat it doesn't make it sound any better or any worse um, and it's just it's just a neat thing to have there. But it's something you tell your buddies over a beer. It's like yeah. my guitars pickups have been worn on Leo's freaking machine. Well, one of the things that I did for one of the uh, one of the custom shop prototypes that I built last August is um, I wound a set of Legacy pickups on Leo's machine on his birthday. So okay. when you take the guitar apart and all my all my pickups, all my hand wound pickups are signed. The signature's on there, my signature is, and uh, Leo's birthday's on there. So that's kind of a cool thing to... Uh, it kind of sounds like you guys are Leo fanboys. Is that possible? Yeah, we are. Yeah. yeah. I'm a big fanboy. Yeah, yeah. Next time he comes on tour, I definitely want to get backstage. <laughs> Ain't we gonna always, happen, my friend. I mean, always, I'm, I have some bad. I have some bad news for That's you. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys one more guitar, which is very different. We showed you black, and you know, black. So, um, yes, this is the Invader. The Invader. Now, this is regular production. This is a model that we uh, reintroduced. We brought back uh, the Recess Floyd Rose two humbucker. This is actually the Invader XL. The Invader is the one that has a humbucker single single okay. configuration. Again, we're using uh, Chechen or Caribbean Rosewood. And uh, this is a Buckeye Burl top on a monkey pod back. It's gorgeous. That top is absolutely gorgeous. And it's so gorgeous. nice and light too. That's what I, yeah. a, a lot of the shredder, this is a shredder we have, machine. We have only three positions? Yes, and there's a coil tap. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, because you got the humbuckers. So, three position pickup selector, coil tap, volume control, master tone, recess Floyd Rose. If you put what a you fixed bridge on that, it would be mine. Because I don't want to deal with the Floyd. Okay, I so have enough Floyd guitars I, to deal with. What I'll do then is I'll just block the Floyd so you still have this look, but it'll be a hardtail Floyd. And I'll remove the locking nut. I'll tell you what, I'll use the locking nut to block the bridge back here so that it looks like a Floyd, mm. but it's... And you have all the Floyd parts. They're just going to be in different spots. How about that? <laughs> huh? Yeah. That is try freaking that. ridiculous. Do not try that at home, folks. Th this man takes some strange kind of stuff, and, uh, I, and I want some of it. Oh, it's just a high blood pressure medication. I'll take it. All right. It's I already took it this morning. Sorry, folks. Uh, uh, hey, guys. Uh, Gino, good guitars. And uh, thanks, Kiana, for holding this thing, my big stick. And uh, animals at the end. Nam, 18, blah, blah, blah. We're going home. Bye-bye.